This is the interior of the uh, Boeing 747-400 freighter, the one that was built at the factory. And um, this is interior towards the nose of the aircraft. That part right there that is not white, that is the section that opens up. And um, when they open this up, they could do two things with it. Uh, vent the airplane really quickly and load the freight, long pieces. So sometimes they have machinery and um, other equipment, large loads, lengthy ones. And uh, by virtue of the nose opening up, they could easily load the uh, long freight this way. And um, the mechanism to open are those jack screws right there, the motors. Here's the other side. And basically, as you can see, it opens right there. In the section there, down to the floor, and it goes like that. Those are the locks. Those are the locks right there, those green things. It's, uh, it's pretty big. And uh, you could put stuff in here that otherwise won't fit on the main deck cargo door. The one I will be going to in a minute. So this is the view towards the back of the aircraft, towards the tail. The, the yellow steps right there, the ladder right there is what we use to go up to the second floor where the uh, the flight deck is and also the uh, resting quarters when people go and take a nap there's some first class seats and stuff like that anyway the floor of this aircraft is covered with uh, with mechanism latches rollers bearings you're talking about everything there's wheels right here those are the ones that are designed to lift rotate and move the pallets that come in. There's several of those. And um, these mechanisms right here, they're designed for the uh, big pallets that come in and they put two side by side and lock them up sideways and also along the way so that they don't go anywhere when, when they're locked up. Um, Sometimes people need to push freight because the equipment is probably broken or defective. Things could happen, so they had to push. It takes more than five people to push a pallet because it's very heavy. But the fact that they're on rollers, it, it makes it a little easier. So there are mechanisms everywhere. It's, uh, it's a nice system. 747 400 it's pretty tall and there's different different heights as you can see right there that area that looks like uh like a ladder with the belts that is uh basically um uh, an area that demarks where it's the upper section where does it end what is the upper section is where the hump the head of the aircraft ends Typical 747 model has a has a big head, so this is where the uh, tall pilots should stop. They cannot go any further because the the ceiling right there is lower. Now this right here, this ceiling up here, it's uh, I'll say if I had to guess, at least 18 feet. Well, maybe not that high. Uh, slightly less than that. I'm not sure, but it's very high. More than 10 feet, that's for sure. And uh, there's another section towards where the main cargo door is, where the um, the ceiling is even higher. That's the one that's probably like 18. Yep, right there. That's where it changes. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty high. Now we are approaching towards the back of the wings. This is where 
the main cargo door is located and I'll show you what the door looks like this is the main cargo door this is as big as the single car garage door that most people have except that it's taller by at least half the size taller than the ones in normal single car garage more mechanisms and uh, over here is the area that goes towards the tail because the tail is narrow the uh, floor tracks turn towards the right so a pallet goes straight there like that and turns into position this is where one pallet goes so you can see the size of each pallet. It's, it's pretty hefty size, pretty, pretty big. Um, that right there, where the shadow is and that small section, that wall right there, this is what's, what is called the end of the bulkhead. This is towards where the tail is. Now the tail continues back at least another 10 feet. And uh, it's pretty big, pretty substantial size. turn around and we look towards the nose you can see this is a huge airplane now people ask how difficult how challenging there is to fly one of these aircraft see the answer will be basically it's not that difficult once you get used to flying this thing it's like anything you don't even know the difference you get used to so much that it's uh, it's just it's just like any other airplane you fly. It behaves and feels like your regular Piper Cherokee or your Cessna 172, except that it's a slightly heavier. <laughs> but besides that, it feels just right. It doesn't have any any difficulties or any any tricky things. It's just it's just the typical aircraft. It's easy to handle. It obviously, feels a little heavier in the in the beginning when you start training for this aircraft and sure it's uh, a lot of a lot of learning it's a learning curve that we take but um, besides that it's you get used to it and then you don't even know the difference to you it's just like yeah it flies like any other airplane and uh, it's just a uh, just a nice airplane and um, we all like it the famous queen of the skies. This is the 747-400 type. This is the uh, one of the models because there's so many different models from the 100, 200, 300s, SPs, uh, and then the Dash 8, which is the the last model they made. These little windows right here are gonna give us a chance to look outside and we can see the engines from here. There you go, there's two engines there, number three and four. And if we turn around and look the other opposite direction, there's another window just like it. And here, the same thing, we can watch engines. I put the phone closer so we can see there, there are the engines, one and two. So, the 747-400 cargo plane, this is a factory built aircraft. This is not a conversion like the other aircraft. And uh, the conversion meaning used to be a passenger aircraft that was built as a passenger aircraft, but it was converted later on, uh, one of the uh, conversion centers, and uh, they become cargo planes. This is actually a true freighter. Nice airplane, beautiful flying characteristics. Again, you get used to. So I hope you enjoy the uh, quick tour of the 747-400 uh, freighter.